What's up everybody? It's your boy Clayton Philpo here with some exciting news. A brand new 2016 tattoo policy cleared by General Neller, the Commandant himself. Now I know that you guys love tattoos. Like for some reason, Marines love tattoos. And the previous Commandant, General Amos, kind of took tattoos away from the Marine Corps. His reasoning for that was it was unprofessional. Well, General Neller's in and he says that's baloney. And he kind of made the rules a little bit more relaxed. Now, there's still rules. So real quick, down and dirty, here is the tattoo policy. So the graphic you're looking at right now is one that was released by Headquarters Marine Corps. And the red spots are where you cannot have tattoos, okay? So of course you're not gonna be able to have a tattoo on your face. Uh, your neck is a no-go. And if you look at the elbows, okay, that is new. You're not allowed to have tattoos right at the elbows, uh, but you can see below that the forearm is all game now, uh, except for the exception of like three inches above the wrist, the forearm is there. So what that means is if you're somebody that really wants to get a full sleeve, you could just get the top of your arm, the bottom of your arm, and then just like, you know, Wait until you get out to complete the sleeve with that three inches in the middle. I know it sounds stupid. I don't know why they're, they, I don't know why they just don't give us the ability to have full sleeves. Like what is this policy like preventing not having a tattoo on your elbow? Like what the hell is that? But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, and we got to abide by it. So moving forward down at the bottom of that graphic, you can see the kneecaps, no go on the kneecaps, no tattoos on those kneecaps. However, you can see the bottom of your leg, that's 100% good to go. And that previously was also not allowed. Uh, it was, the rule was you weren't allowed to see uh, tattoos in PT gear. Not a lot of people really followed that rule, but now it looks like you can, you can have a tattoo down there. So anywhere on this graphic that you see skin, you're good to go to have a tattoo. Anywhere that there's red, no go on the tattoo. Now, some of you might be waiting for a waiver for a tattoo that previously wasn't in regs, but now it is. Well, the good news of that is they're probably gonna clear you. And if they don't clear you, you send the waiver back and 100% like you should be fine. I know waivers are like a sketchy thing and it's really hard for me to tell you when your waiver is gonna get approved or disapproved, but just know that, wait it out. If you have a tattoo, you're probably gonna be able to get in, okay? Like a lot of people are still getting in with tattoos. Just give it some time. All right, so this next graphic you're looking at right now, that's the color of your camis, right? So your tattoo has to be below the collarbone and it can't be seen with a skivvy shirt on, right? So this one's kind of weird. On your back, the tattoo cannot be seen when wearing an undershirt and it has to be below your seventh vertebrae. So obviously they went really hard with this policy. They did photos up. They tried to make it as clear as possible to people. They even went by the seventh vertebrae as the line to where you cannot have your tattoo above that. So if you have back tattoos, if you're thinking about getting a tattoo, make sure you're looking at these rules, right? So if you get a tattoo in the depth and it's out of regs, you are totally going to get kicked out of the depth because once you get down to boot camp, they're gonna see it and send you packing. So if you're gonna get a tattoo that's out of regs, I don't recommend it, but if you do, wait until you're done with boot camp. Wait until you're at your MOS school or whatever. Again, you can still get in trouble for getting a tattoo out of regs, but you're definitely gonna get kicked out if you get it before enlisting. So what about band tattoos? You know, that sweet, sweet tribal that you got back in 12th grade? Well, listen, you can still have that, but they use the four finger rule. And that rule is the band cannot exceed three inches or the width of the Marines four fingers, which doesn't make any sense by the way. Like what the shit is that? Three, whose four fingers is three inches long? What if you got like jumbo fingers and you're working with some sausage links over here and you got like a five inch wingspan, whatever. I don't know, but if you got a sick sick band tattoo, it can't be any wider than your four fingers, okay? And on the note of arm tattoos, what they're saying here is you can't have the tattoo be within two inches of the elbow. Now, I don't know how strict they're gonna be with measuring your tattoo. You know, you could get a really cool, you know, staff NCO to measure you, or you could get a really salty jerk 
and be like, that is 1.999 inches within the elbow, Marine. You're in trouble. Again, give a little bit of lead way, maybe half an inch, maybe a full inch. Uh, you don't want to get in trouble for having tattoos that are out of regs. But these rules are kind of weird. Like, I'm, I'm for them because they're giving more lead way for tattoos. But again, what's the problem with having tattoos? What is the deal with not having a tattoo on your elbow? I, I don't get it. On your kneecap, what's the big deal? I understand the face. I understand the neck. But elbow, really? I don't know. So for the lower arm tattoos, the tattoo has to be covered by your hand. So if you've got a tattoo and it can be covered by your, all your fingers put together, including your thumb, and you can put your palm over the tattoo and cover it, you're good. Does that make sense? So essentially, you can't have like a full blown lower sleeve, but you can have enough of a tattoo that can be covered with your hand. Again. These rules are weird. This one is really interesting. Check this graphic out. Single band tattoos of no more than three eighths of an inch in width on one finger. So essentially what they're saying is you can have a wedding band tattooed onto your finger. That's basically what that is right there. Now, why do people tattoo wedding bands? Because a lot of times Marines are going out to the field or they're going through a deployment and you know, you're out there and you're getting dirty and you're in the mud and the grit and you're, a lot of people lose their, their rings. So instead they get tattoos on their fingers signifying their love of their significant other. So, a little fact for you. Foot tattoos. Feet are good to go now. You can totally have a foot tattoo. Again, as long as it can be covered by the palm of your hand and your fingers, you should be good. So if you want to get a sweet, sweet eagle globe and anchor on your foot, by all means, go ahead and do it. Just make sure your hand can cover it. So I think that about sums it up. I touched on the major talking points for the new tattoo policy. Uh, I will put a link in the video description with the entire story, all the graphics, all the regulations. You can read through the whole thing. That link will be in the video description. Now, if you guys like the video, please thumb up, like the video, share the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Clayton Philpo. Leave comments below. What do you guys think about this new tattoo policy? I like it, but it could be better. You know, I'm a Marine, I can always complain, but seriously, I don't understand the whole elbow and kneecap thing. I, I really don't get it, but I am in favor of the new tattoo policy. I will say that. So comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Later, y'all.